acids and bases, strength. The strength of an acid depends on the degree they ionize in water. Strong acids are completely ionized in water. This example shows hydrochloric acid in water ionizes completely into hydro hydronium ion and chlorine ion. Weak acids, on the other hand, they only slightly ionize in water. In here we have acetic acid in water that ionizes slightly into hydronium ion and acetate. This strength is measured by the acid dissociation constant that is equal Ka. This constant is calculated by the multiplication of the concentration of the products in equilibrium divided by the concentration of the acid in equilibrium. An example is ethanoic acid. If we have 0.1 molar, it's only partially ionized and for, and for measurements, the pH of the solution is concentration of hydrogen ion is 1.34 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. Find the acid dissociation constant for ethanoic acid. Here is the reaction. The steps. First, get the acid original concentration. From the data, we know that it's 0.1 molar. Then, find the hydronium and base concentration in equilibrium. These are the two products. Both products have the same concentration and is 1.34 times 10 to the negative 3. Then, find the acid concentration in equilibrium. As we know, the acid concentration in equilibrium is the 0.1 molar, that is the original, minus one of the concentration of the products, that is 0.00134, giving us the concentration of the acid in equilibrium. Finally, calculate the Ka. The Ka with the formula that we know. So, we will multiply the concentration of both products in equilibrium and divided by the concentration of the acid in equilibrium. This will give us the concentration Ka. Now, if this Ka is, uh, let's say, around 1 times 10 to the negative 3, or more than that, we consider it a strong acid. In this case, the acid that we got is a weak acid. Another example is methanoic acid. If we have 0.1 molar, it's only partially ionized and form, from measurements, the pH of the solution, we get a concentration of hydrogen ions in 4.2 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. To find the acid dissociation, as dissociation constant from methanoic acid, first we need the, the equation, then we get the acid original concentration, that back again is 0.1 molar. Then we find the concentration of both products in equilibrium, that is 4.2 times 10 to the negative 3. Then the acid concentration in equilibrium, as we know, is the original minus one of the concentration of the products. Finally, we calculate the Ka. And we got back again 1.84 times 10 to the negative 4, which is considered a weak acid. The strength of a base depends on the degree they ionize in water, forming metal ions and hydro hydroxide ions. The strong bases are completely ionized in water. Weak bases are only slightly ionized in water. This strength is measured by the base dissociation constant that is equal Kb, where Kb is equal to the product's concentration in equilibrium, multiplied, divided by the concentration of the base in equilibrium. Let's find the relationship between both constants Ka and Kb. As we already talked and saw, both constants are obtained by multiplying the concentration of the products in equilibrium. 
divided by the concentration of the reactant acid or base in equilibrium 2. Now, we usually uh, find kind of confusion between concentration and strength. When we talk about concentration, as we can see in this drawing, we're talking about the particles that are in this solution. As we can see in this drink, the lighter it is, or the less concentrated, you will see less color. The more concentrated, it will be darker, because it has more particles. So concentration is defined, or depends, of the number of moles in a given volume. The strength, in the other hand, as we already saw, for acids and bases, depends of the degree of dissociation or ionization of the acid or base. Thank you very much for watching.